Hi, my name is Abbeth. I'm an artist living in Portland, Maine. You can check out my work at abbeth.com. I'm going to show you how to paint a moonlit waterfall. First, I'm going to have you squeeze out some black onto your palette. Take a large brush and get some water on it and mix up a wash of black on your palette, which is just a mixture of water and paint. Then I'm going to have you coat your whole canvas in that black wash. Next, squeeze out some white onto your palette. Clean off your brush and use a smaller brush to pick up some of the white in and uh, paint a circular moon shape in one of the upper corners of the page. You can put the white down pretty thick so that it is raised up above the black. All right, now go um, grab some blue. Squeeze that onto your palette. Just a medium blue will work fine. And go back to your large brush this time. And you're gonna use the black to draw just kind of a silhouette of some stone in the lower corner of your page. This is going to be the stone that the water is going to be rolling over in the waterfall. Now, you don't even need to clean your brush because having a little black is okay, but pick up some white and some blue on your brush, and you're just going to have a big brush stroke come down over that black. And keep doing this with the blue and white on your brush. And you're just going to make these strokes going down the page that are going to end up looking like water. It's OK if some of the black mixes in. You're trying to get kind of a grayish blue effect here. All right, now squeeze out some fresh, clean white onto your palette. and take a clean brush, or clean off one of your brushes. And this white is gonna be used to create highlights on the water. So just make some short, thin brush strokes going across the top of the water. Don't worry about them being straight. It can be kind of wavy, like water. My name is Abbeth, and I just showed you how to paint a moonlit waterfall. Mm -hmm.